pad, he can become the cornerstone for Rocket's composition and potentially carry. We'll see if that ends up being the case. The lineups are locked, the teams are ready to take to the rift, but why don't you guys get on Twitter and tell us how you think this one is going to play out. Your hashtags are ROC win, our GMB win. The crowd gets hyped for this game. We zoom on in and into the rift we go. Team Rocket versus Gambit Gaming, starting up. Definitely a good point. If this lane gets to level six, level six router, Cogma can wreak some havoc. They're going for a gank on Steve though. Speaking of havoc, Steve, he's had this happen to him yesterday. Gets flipped over with the rolling thunder, but there's a couple of flashes and he's they take out. a bite out of the tree. That's gonna be first blood over to Diamond Prox. Yeah, but they lose the 2v2, that's the problem. Yankos is such a good jungler, if you can give him freedom to go to any lane that he wants to and control the pace of the game. However, Steve is, has so far has a habit from falling behind and he requires attention and that's not what you want to do. When you pick Maokai, you want to stay safe. Uh, well, that's not exactly what Steve is doing right now. He throws in the eventual Maelstrom and he's still hanging around. Actually, Cabo Shard is the one that goes down as Diamond Prox is just a step too slow. However, he might find the return kill on Yankos. No, there's the safeguard. Meanwhile, down in the bottom, Ghost of Memory gets a hook on a Woolite. They've got a lot of damage and forcing the heal. Forgiven Blood, he's selling, he smells it up and he grabs the kill. Now, he's gonna take a blast from the Akathian Surprise, but the parting shot won't be enough. Inside that pink ward untouched, Yankos is there as well. It seems like what these junglers' senses are a tingling. Steve has some backup, but what he doesn't know is there's a big bear there, and there is Yankos as well, focusing on Steve. Can they pick him off a flash? Kabushard gets the kill. Yankos on the retreat. They want the blue buff. A jump, a flash from Yankos away. And this time, Gambit is prepared. They're not gonna sound. Clear the wave in the top side. <laughs> and with that cross map farming, he puts himself four CS ahead of Wuad, whereas earlier he was behind. Teleport from Steve. Yep, they aren't looking for Forgiven just yet. It's Gosu Pepper. They've got their sight set on, but Wolite very low. Inco's Forgiven. Wolite's gonna pick off Gosu Pepper. There's a teleport coming in for Cabo Shard, but is it too late? As Gosu Pepper's already gone down, that's a double kill for Wolite. Cabo Shard jumping forward, and now Betsy's in the mix. He throws down the Death Laser. So they haven't found any counter aggression. Vander takes the hook up. Play back. Look at the they counter damage. Yeah, Woolite, he has so much here. Meanwhile, back to mid. Betsy, Empress Divide. Yankos is there. Betsy's going down, and Nuke Duck finds himself in a storm of chaos, but he should be able to get out. But they need to be very careful about this. There's a Bullet Baron coming, but Vander, he's going to take the offensive. Ghost to Pepper's going down. Forgiven can do nothing else about this. And very, this tower very is very hard to cancel that combo from Vander. Moving up on the ranks. Eventually, he'll get there. Order Who's the Fresh King? Fresh, fresh King. Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. Fresh God is my life. Oh, oh, oh a little boy. short. Well, the Prince might be going down in just a moment. Gosu Pepper evaporates. Vander picks that one up, but Steve in a heaping helping a trouble. Betsy picks him up. Diamond Prox nearly followed. Or maybe there is for a few minutes. I definitely want to see some flanking come on again, but if everybody... Oh, Nuke Duck's going in. Yep, there's the drive by. It's Betsy who gets kicked, and Yankos finishes the job. Gambit is eyeballing a couple different things at the same time. Kabushart, can he get back? It's going to be a dangerous mission. He gets headbutted by Vander, knocked up there. Nuke Duck inbound. Kabushart is going down. It's only a matter of time. Denied his leap as he gets pushed back into the wall. But meanwhile, Gambit Gaming are ready to answer back. They take a tower for it in the mid. It, he is, he manages to throw the box down, get himself out of harm's way. Steve makes his move up, but he's stopped by the gravity field. Now, he turns on the pressure, twists on Betsy. onto Betsy. Do they have the damage? It looks like they might. Diamond Proc, Steve was not sure who to go for, tosses the sapling out, but a ghost from Betsy yeah, means he can get away. Vander comes in, Diamond Prox is shut down, a whole heaping helping of gold. Exactly, and you know, the, the troubling thing for Rocket is that Yes, they'll want to take it slow. They'll want to execute later on in the game. And look at this. Oh, Gambit I gaming. love this play. 25 Look at that ward. Look at that ward. Attempt. They don't see Illusion it. of safety. Outside. Really solid play to do the Baron from behind. Really risky that Forgiven sends out that two-shot Barrage. Yeah, so coming telegram. from the Baron, this might give it away. Yeah, it just might. They, they're not taking it down quite quick enough. They just don't have quite enough damage it. here without the victor. But I think it's going to happen. However, but Yankos is coming. Yankos and Vander, we could see the least. Yankos the steal. He gets the steal off. Telegraph just too soon. Forgiven, able to get to safety, but Rocket secure the Baron, and Gosu Pepper is a snack for Woolite. I wish I could listen to the team comes right now. TP coming in from Cabochard. They want to catch Rocket out. 
They want to catch at least Yankos out. He is the deepest in enemy territory right now, but they're not quite chasing on him just yet. There they go. Kabashard jumps on, kicked away by Yankos. 15 seconds now on the drain counter. Teleport coming in. There's a flash burn by Forgiven. Nuke Duck chased around by the Chaos Knight. Kabashard going in, but he's isolated. Woolite now is in some trouble, but he's the one who gets split back after shutting down Woolite. Yankos going down as well, and Kathy in surprise, clipping the edge of Gosu Pepper. Now, with three members alive, can Rocket still take this fight? I don't think so. Steve! Steve, Steve, he's still making the play. A double kill now from Vander. Goes to Pepper. He's going to go down in just a moment. They're still making it happen. Nuke Duck, how the hell did he live? And Gambit Gaming are on the losing end of that fight. Absolutely. I know. Oh, yeah. Now, Rocket are saying, come at us. They're We've confident. got the damage. We can take full the vision. In comes the True Shot Barrage. They know this is happening. Gambit in on the hunt, but the Baron's already gone. Diamond Prox now. He doesn't really look that tanky, does he? As Gosu Pepper is the next target. Vander stunned up momentarily. Cabo Shard finds himself a Willite, but he doesn't find the kill just yet. Finally, he will. Cabo Shard gets the assassination, but he's surely going to die for this one. Or not. Yes, he will. Finally, Nuke Duck Sand Soldiers finish the job. Two for one in favor of Rocket, and they've got the Baron on four. And this is the problem for Gambit because their AP damage has been so negated right now. Wait a minute, we'll talk base about that later. Race. We've got ourselves a base race. Rocket are a little bit ahead in that one, and they are playing chicken. Only Forgiven wants to stay. This could turn disastrous as Rocket has already finished off one inhibitor. Gambit are back, but Kabashard slowed down. The base race has ended, and Rocket look to be the ones ahead here, but the fight is going crazy. One Nexus turret down. Diamond Prox isolated from his team. He falls as well. Vander dangerously low, but he manages to make his escape. And he narrowly dodges out the true shot barrage. Who knows? But as I was going, as I was talking about, Betsy, he's the primary AP threat for this team. And he's so far behind that Rocket can just itemize damage at this point. Or itemize armor, rather, at this point. Now, Betsy, he's being set even further behind, all the way back to Foundry. Gambit. Yeah, they can stretch him pretty thin here now that there's two inhibitors gone. Gambit have to defend on multiple fronts, and Rocket only have to knock down one. Diamond Prox is coming in for the flank. Does he have enough damage? Looks like they've softened Rocket up for just a moment, but can they execute? It looks like it's going to be difficult, but a whole lot of zone. Emperor's the body. Well, it's already finished off. Diamond Prox, Cabo Shark, Gosu Pepper, knocked up, but Vander's dead. Betsy is kiting Steve. Steve twisted advance, but I don't think he'll live through that one. They managed to melt through Rocket's front line. Only Nuke Duck and Yankos will live to tell the tale of that fight. Now let's see how this next Baron goes. It's 20 seconds on it. And Rocket are already setting up for position. They found Diamond Prox. Yankos on the chase. His flash is about to come up. I really hope for Diamond Prox that he doesn't have to use his flash, but it looks like he will have to if he wants to get a chance of stealing his Baron. Oh. Ooh, not a lot of stuff connecting there. Synergy. Chase the bear. Let's see if Forgiving can do anything about this one. True Shot Barrage will knock three, but Diamond's already down. Doesn't elect to use the flash, and now Baron's alive. I live. just came up, but even if he had used it, that would mean he had to walk to that pit again. We had a repeat of the earlier scenario. This Baron is going to rock at no smite. Don't even try to contest this gamut. Oh, it goes away, and now Vander comes in. He knocks Forgiven in to the wall. Steve Here's right Steve. in the middle of it all. He just doesn't seem to care. And now, hook on Woolite. gaming. Yep, Gosu Pepper's gonna get a hook on Woolite, but it won't matter. Everyone from Gambit, they've backed out or died. Three members down now with Diamond Prox is still half a minute before he respawns. Rocket in prime position right now. Inhibitor respawned up in the top, but I don't think that's gonna last very long. Yeah, burn the five members, five against two. Gonna make a not so bold prediction here. Game's gonna end in Rocket's favor, and yeah, fantastic staying in that game, fighting through the way that, that Steve got behind. Signature move doesn't seem to work over and over. Steve stayed in the game, and Speaking Rocket's taking moves. it. Yep, looks like they will end this game in style. 40 minutes and some change in. They finish off Gambit Gaming and go one and one to start the summer split.